Hello and welcome to Football Daily, where today we've picked an 11 of great players who were pushed out of Real Madrid. Goalkeeper, Iker Casillas. We start with San Iker, one of Madrid's most iconic keepers. Casillas joined the club at nine years old, and seven years later he received his debut, featuring in the Champions League against Rosenborg. By age 19, Casillas had won his first UCL trophy, becoming the youngest goalkeeper ever to feature in the competition's final and keeping a clean sheet in a 3-0 win over Valencia. Casillas went on to win the tournament twice more, as well as five league titles, a World Cup and two European Championships, becoming Spain's most capped player with 167 games. But after an incredible 725 first-team appearances for Real, Florentino Perez shipped him out to Porto, signing Kayla Navas as a replacement. A wretched end for a Madrid great. Defender, Juanfran. He may turn out for rivals Atletico these days, but right back Juanfran started out in Real's academy as an unfancied right winger. He featured six times in the league for Los Blancos before switching to Osasuna for free. Real retained a buyback clause, but Juanfran's straightforward play failed to excite the Giants. Atleti saw potential though, and Diego Simeone moulded the Spaniard into one of the league's best right backs after talking the club out of selling him on to Arsenal. And the coach's faith was rewarded, as his defence took Los Rojiblancos to a Liga win in 2014 and two Champions League finals in three years. A European champion in 2012, Juanfran still arrives an hour early to training every day. Defender Walter Samuel A Scudetto winner with Roma in 2001, Argentinian tank Walter Samuel was brought to the Bernabeu for 25 million euros in 2004. Quick, strong and nicknamed The Wall, Samuel failed to settle during a tumultuous spell for Real, as the club cycled through three different managers within six months of the defender's arrival in Madrid. After just one season, Samuel was flogged to Inter Milan at a 9 million euro loss, and he promptly added insult to injury, as he won five Serie A titles, three Coppas Italia and the Champions Champions League during a nine-year spell with the Nerazzurri. In 2014, he moved on to Switzerland, adding another two league titles with Basel before retiring at the age of 38. Defender Ezequiel Garay Another Argentinian defender, Ezequiel Garay was highly fated as a youngster when he arrived in La Liga with Racing Santander. He helped the club to their highest ever finish of sixth and was snapped up by Real Madrid before returning to Cantabria on loan. When he came back to the Bernabeu for good in 2009, Garay found himself behind Sergio Ramos, Pepe and Raul Albiol for a central defensive spot, failing to convince Manuel Pellegrini or Jose Mourinho and making just 31 appearances over two seasons. He swapped the white shirt for the red of Benfica in 2011 and then went on to Zenit, winning domestic titles in both Portugal and Russia, something he never managed with Los Merengues. Defensive midfield, Claude Makalele. Recruited by Vicente del Bosque in 2000, Claude Makalele was the best holding midfielder of his generation, with his energy and intelligence compensating for the defensive deficiencies of Figo and Zidane. A two-time league winner and European champion with Real, Makalele fell out with the club when he asked for a raise to bring his wages in line with his Galactico teammates. Perez refused and Makalele left for Chelsea, where he won two more titles and further enhanced his reputation. Perez spitefully claimed that the Frenchman had average technique and and couldn't pass the ball more than three metres. But Zidane disagreed, criticising the sale of Makaleli and the pursuit of David Beckham with the words, why put another layer of gold paint on the Bentley when you were losing the entire engine? Central midfield, Wesley Snyder. Wesley Snyder had an insane record for Ajax, scoring a goal every three games from midfield, and Real made him the second most expensive Dutchman ever when they forked out 27 million euros in 2007. And a winning goal against Atletico on his league debut was the first of nine in the league, as Real won the title in his first season. But Snyder suffered ligament damage in pre-season against Arsenal, after a collision with Abu Dhabi somehow left the Netherlands international the more injured. A year on, Real parted with him for 15 million euros, replacing him with Kaká. Snyder went on to win the treble in his first year with Inter Milan, with the Champions League final triumph against Bayern Munich fittingly took place at Madrid's Bernabeu. Central midfield, Saúl. A new star on the red and white side of Madrid, Atleti Saúl Niguez was educated at Real's academy, La Fabrica. He joined at 11, but soon jumped ship for Los Colchoneros, making his debut in the Europa League at 17. And while Atleti won a historic title in 2014, Saúl was making his name on loan at Rayo Vallecano, flourishing under Paco Jemez and playing 34 of 38 games in the league as the club finished 12th. 
On his return to the Vicente Calderón, he played in both legs of the Supercopa as Atleti beat Real, and he became a regular over the next two years, with his blend of dribbling and tough tackling taking Simeone's side to the brink of Champions League triumph. Attacking midfield, Mesut Ozil. Perhaps the best attacking passer in the world, it came as a shock when Mesut Ozil was ditched by Real Madrid in 2013 to free up space for Gareth Bale. Ozil's time in Spain had been hugely successful, with the German racking up 82 assists and 27 goals in 159 games at the Bernabeu. Unbelievably, Ozil was just 21 when he arrived in Madrid, and he quickly became the conductor of the Real front line, with his eye-of-the-needle distribution the key to the club's high-speed attack. He won the league in 2012, but Bale's arrival forced his departure to Arsenal a year later, and in his third season in London, he racked up 19 league assists, a record only bettered by Thierry Henry. Right wing, Arjen Robben. Prized out of Chelsea for 35 million euros in 2007, Arjen Robben spent just two years in the white shirt, scoring five goals from the left in his first year as Real wrapped up the league early. As a result, the last Clásico of the season saw Barcelona give Los Blancos a guard of honour, before Robin ran riot in a 4-1 victory. The Dutchman enjoyed a strong campaign the following year with eight goals, but the club's push for Kaká and Cristiano Ronaldo saw Robin's place in the team come under threat. Bayern paid a bargain 25 million euros for him, and a switch to the right produced the finest spell of Robin's career, with 115 goals, five Bundesliga titles and a Champions League in his time in Germany. Left wing and Hel Di Maria. Another outstanding attacker who found himself out of favour in Madrid, Di Maria was a casualty of James Rodriguez's arrival after the 2014 World Cup. Di Maria had been one of the world's best players the previous season, playing an energetic midfield role in Carlo Ancelotti's 4-3-3, as Real finally won La Decima. Every major club was interested in the Argentinian, but Man United secured his signing for a British record 75 million euros. But Di Maria was again undervalued, with his aggressive style a poor fit for Louis van Gaal. PSG came to the rescue in 2015, handing over 63 million euros for their new Galactico, who went on to have another incredible year, with 18 assists and 10 goals for the Parisians. Another clangor from Florentino Perez. Centre forward, Gonzalo Higuain. Born in France, Gonzalo Higuain grew up in Argentina and arrived at the Santiago Bernabeu direct from River Plate in 2006. Just 19 at the time, Higuain proved himself a proficient and versatile goalscorer in Spain, scoring 121 times for Real, including 27 in his best year, one more than Cristiano Ronaldo managed. In 2013, Real decided to ship out one of their forwards and chose to keep Karim Benzema. Despite a lengthy flirtation with Arsenal, Higuain ended up replacing Edinson Cavani at Napoli and became Serie A's best striker. And in 2016, he scored a hat-trick on the final day of the season to finish on 36 goals in 35 games, the highest total ever recorded in Serie A. So guys, they are our best Real Madrid rejects, 11. But who would you have included in there? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed that video, be sure to check out our Manchester United rejects, 11. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe.